Regeneration was introduced to the mythos of Doctor Who to solve a practical staffing problem. The production team needed to find a way to exit William Hartnell but still keep the show running. The original idea for this replacement came from producer John Wiles and script editor Donald Tosh. They proposed to write out Hartnell during The Celestial Toymaker, a serial they commissioned and prepped, but ultimately didn't produce. Their notion was that The Celestial Toymaker would make the Hartnell Doctor disappear, but when the Doctor reappeared he would magically be another actor entirely. Ref. The first Doctor Handbook, the second Doctor Handbook, though not at all a regenerative process as the term has since come to be understood, Wiles and Tosh do at least get some credit for being the first people to moot the possibility of carrying on the show with a new lead, and for the necessity of finding a narrative explanation for this switch. Though this is taken for granted today, this was an important milestone on the way to regeneration. Doctor Who could have just as easily gone down the route of another 1960s show, Bewitched, where a main character was simply recast without narrative explanation. However, Wiles and Tosh were ultimately unsuccessful in their bid to replace Hartnell, due to resistance from BBC head of serials, Gerald Savory. Ref. The Second Doctor Handbook. This failure was a part of the reason Wiles resigned relatively soon after taking over the show from Verity Lambert. Ref. The First Doctor Handbook. His successor, Innes Lloyd, was better able to negotiate Hartnell's departure in part because the climate within the BBC hierarchy had changed with Sean Sutton's management elevation. Ref. The first Doctor Handbook. Still, it is uncertain who, precisely, came up with the idea of regeneration as biologic process, rather than the mystical solution Wiles had earlier mooted. How? Stammers and Walker believed, the likelihood is that it emerged in discussion between Lloyd and his story editor Jerry Davis, along with additional input from Sean Sutton, and Kit Pedler. Ref. The Second Doctor Handbook.